Hi everyone. Uh, today I'm going to be doing a review on a Robogun Walther P38 Micro Changer. Um, this is him here. Uh, he was uh, made by Takar Toys, uh, 1982 Micro Change series, and they were part of the 1980 um, new Micro Man uh, line. Um, basically, uh, it was about small household objects that can um, turn into vehicles or intelligent robots. Uh, I did briefly cover this in my Megatron review, but um, I think it deserves a review all on its own. Um, I'll show you the back. Um, Megatron, Soundwave Blaster, some of the cassettes, Perceptor, Browning, and uh, several of like the um, mini cars like Bumblebee and uh, Cliff Jumper actually came from this line um, when they made Transformers. So I thought that was pretty cool. So there you go. And uh, I'm not going to transform it right now. Um, just because it's all nice and pretty in its box and uh, but I will take it out of the um, box to show you guys so first off I will show you that it comes with an instruction manual and of course it's all in Japanese that's the front then there's the inside and on the back which I think is really cool it shows all the different micro changers that they had um, in the line and the one known as uncle actually looks a lot like uh, Megatron um, chrome finish and all so I thought that was also pretty cool. Um, these are the original decals that came with it. I, I obviously have it in a, a protector. But I just wanted to show that to you guys. Um, also, he uh, shoots bullets like the reissue Megatrons do, except his two bullet trees, which are right here, are blue they're not red and along with the bullets uh, they came with some pretty cool looking targets there that you could shoot at there's three of them so when you Take it out of the box. It's all nice and pretty, like this. And there's a little holder that holds the gun there. As you can see, he comes with a sword as well, like the reissue um, uh, Megatron. And then he also has um, another gun there. Uh, instead of being chrome, uh, his body is black metal, and his handle is uh, like a brown plastic it's made to look like wood but he again robo gun does look like a real gun it's pretty cool all right so this re uh, concludes my review for the robo gun Walther P38. If y'all have any other questions, let me know. Um, I'm sorry I didn't get to transform him this review. Um, maybe I will transfer him at a later date and uh, put up pictures to let y'all see. But for now, uh, I kind of want to keep him in the box. So uh, until next time, see you guys later. Bye.